This is the clench valve assembly for your SDS heads for instant closing so you can maintain pressure in your nozzle in your reservoir and start and stop flow. So we're going to take this apart and show you how to assemble it in case you're changing your tubing out. This thumb screw is done hand tight. We're going to just use this as a holder. We're going to take a Allen wrench set push this little post out, remove the lure tip, now we're going to take this lure fitting out of the top, it's a barbed connector, we're going to use an allen wrench just to displace this cutoff valve, and then pull the tubing out. Now you might want to show up in the front. Now to put it back in, if you're replacing this tubing or whatever, you're going to want to leave the big connector that accepts your lure needles on the bottom. You can't just stick it in from the front because this has got a keyhole shape, so you have to come in from the bottom. And you're going to want to push this plunger down. Push this plunger down. And it helps if you rotate this a little bit as you slide it past. go. Now you want to push the bottom so it's flush up to the cylinder here and leave your excess at the top. Once that's in place you can take your little cylinder push it in from the rear. You want to push it all the way so that it protrudes on the inside and not on the outside. Put your little barb connector back in the top. Now this cap is going to prevent the bottom from rotating. It's also going to keep everything at a rigid position. So just slide this up and it snaps on like that. Now you can put on your lure tip. Or you can use a metal lure tip, whatever you want. And you'll connect this in the next slot on the printer with the proper spacers because your different syringe heads are going to have your nozzle based on the diameter of your of your syringe this might be further out or closer back you put your spacers in there line this up hook this up to the bottom of your SDS head of your syringe and this will connect to two wires that are coming from your primary head this just sits in a slot it doesn't act as a separate head it acts as an accessory to the primary head okay this will flip up hand tight just to keep some pressure just to immobilize this and you may have to loosen this up and slide it whatever the right position left and right is so this lines up with your syringe head alright let's go over and see how this hooks up so our heads loaded this guy's loaded we're gonna take this at about 180 degrees There we go. I'm going to rotate it in. Snap it in place. Make sure it's positioned left and right. We can scoot it if we need to. Tighten that down. And then this connector gets hooked to this connector. You want to look for the little divot so that this is oriented properly and now you're ready to go next we're going to take a look at where these wires have to be connected to the head disconnect this I can bring this out and show you oh. That's where these wires go. 